Oh, dang it. That was a fly rod. My streamer rod. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. And I am creeping down this bank looking for rising fish because I'm fishing today solo, solo mission. So let me tell you what's going on. I was down here on this stretch. Some of you might recognize this part of the Yellowstone. It gets floated a lot. I was down here the other day with my boys. We weren't even hardly fishing. We were just out for a float, but the fishing was good. I was able to pick off a few techie dry fly fish on ants, and then I fished a dry dropper in some fast water and uh, picked up a few more fish. Just, you know, messing around. You know, we gave it like one out of 10 effort. But I uh, had the day free and I really wanted to spend some time in the boat by myself. That's just what I felt like doing. I have, oh, there's one right there. Okay, I have the little ant rod and I have a dry dropper rod and a streamer rod that's probably not even gonna get used. My game plan here is to slowly creep through this slow water and see if I can find heads coming up to throw the little ant at. And also we'll probably find some fish in eddies, eating little tiny stuff, hopefully my ant. I'm not gonna fish while the boat's moving. Uh, I'll be, ooh, I think that was one right there too. I've seen a few fish, but nothing like steady. I want the steady riser, which is asking for a lot. It's uh, a fall morning, it's cold, there's not much for hatches going on right now, but which is why I was surprised the other day when I saw fish rising and caught them. So I was saying, uh, I'll pull over at some of the faster water and walk wade. I was smart, I wore wading boots instead of flip flops today, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna dry dropper some fast water because I got a uh, the best fish I saw all day the other day ate my hopper, but I did not hook it. So that is the plan, short stretch. You know, it's like 10 o'clock now. I'll probably be out here like four hours just taking advantage of this late, late summer. Okay, before we get to uh, whatever I'm gonna cut to next, let's do the commercials. This video is sponsored by two companies that if you've been watching my videos all summer long, you've heard of them. One is Downriver Equipment. They made this frame and a bunch of stuff in this boat. It's a rafting store. They have a shop in Denver, Colorado, or you can go online and order stuff. Frames and accessories for rafting and, you know, SUP and all that stuff. Downriverequip.com. Also, Sawyer Oars. They've been a great sponsor of Huge Fly Fishermen for a little while. Uh, these are the Smoker Bandits. I also have some square tops for my other boat. They're both fantastic oars and they have different types of oars depending on what you want for your activity and your boat. You know, it's kind of like fly rods. One set of oars isn't gonna do, ever, do it all for you. So thanks, Sawyer. All right, let's uh, cut to whatever I <laughs> bump into next. There was, we saw some fish in this eddy down here the other day. All right. Okay. I have a couple fish at least. There's one at the top of this eddy over here that I've seen come up once. There's at least one fish right here. Right, there he goes again. All right, he's come up three or four times. And there might be more over here. And here is the landmark, so you all, some of you know exactly where I am. All right, let's get our ant out and probably throw it this way. Oh yeah, I see you. All right, well, I've been staring for 30 seconds and now it ain't rising anymore. What did I do? Oh my goodness. I just had a bite. I had my fly out there. I was sort of fishing it. Blind cast. Dang it. All right, well, that's probably my only shot there. Oh my God, I can't believe I just, I even felt him when I picked up. Jeez. All right, not seeing much else. Floating over some good streamer water. I'm gonna row up this back channel and fish on anchor for a minute with the hopper dropper. Mm. 
Yes, oh my goodness. I thought I saw a rise, but I wasn't real sure. So I threw my fly over there and a fish ate my, my grasshopper. He was in very shallow water. Hmm. All right. Oh for two. Oh, oh man, looks fishy. All right, I'm gonna go walk up here, do some fly fishing. Not gonna lie, I was picking up. That was uh, mostly accidental. All right, it is a start, I guess. <laughs> Your name is Jumbo. Fish was caught, that's good. All right, I'm anchored at a spot where I saw them the other day. There were three or four fish rising on this little flat and we caught one. Nope, oh, there's one right there. Okay. I was coming over here to check it out and there, there was one that rose in this deeper water. I kind of parked on top of where he was because I think most of the fish are gonna be in there in that shadow. And there's one right there. Shoot, I didn't get a landmark just now of where exactly he was. So I'm gonna sit for a minute, be real quiet and wait for him to rise. I got time. Okay, I saw one right over here. Different one. All right, that's not working out. Cloud came in, I can see now. There's a pile of rocks over here. I bet that's where they're hanging out. All right, I guess we move on. I'm leaving, fish, just so you know. You're safe now. There he is, oh my gosh, not paying attention, but he's on. Man, I had been sneaking up on these fish and pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. I think my leader's too short. This is a little fish. That's okay. It sure did work for him. Okay, still some more rising up there. All right, flies out. Bobberino. All right, lost my fly in the willows. That's a uh, good excuse to lengthen my leader, which I think needs to be done. And I'm gonna push up a little bit further because there's, there's a nice one rising up there. Oh my gosh. A game is not happening today. I don't know if you saw that. Probably not because it's so far away. Nice fish just ate my aunt. I tried to wait a little bit, but I kind of felt like I went, Bleh! whatever. All right, well, I think I just blew my chance here. There were like three fish rising. I put two of them down just by anchoring the boat, but that was the biggest one. Eeh! All right, well, there's still more fish. They are certainly not being easy. There's another one down here, or maybe I'll hang out here for a minute. I don't know. I do know that that was a terrible hook set. Oh, dang, there's a rise right there. It's just getting ready to go down the rapid. Breeze is starting to pick up and those techie risers eating that little stuff, they shut down in the wind on this flat, slick water. It's okay though, maybe that means it's hopper time. Ella, I already had it eat on the hopper earlier. All right, let's go. Whee! Let's come back and fish all this. I'm gonna pull over right there. All right, let's do a little walk wade hopper dropper.
I got a small hopper with a Duracell about a foot below it. There he is. Oh man, a little better fish. Oh yeah, man, I was so slow. I saw the fish swimming away before I saw my dry fly move. Whoa. Got him. Okay. <laughs> I think this is the biggest fish we've landed today. All right. We've missed some opportunities on some bigger ones, that's for sure. See you later, cappuccino. All right, let's cruise for a bit. I gotta cover some ground. Plenty of great places to stop along the way, but I'm only gonna do a few. fish a little bit. Oh, oh, again, just like that one earlier, I saw him down there chewing on it and my dry fly didn't do anything. He came up out of the water column. I saw him go rah, rah, like that. My nymph was downstream in my dry. <laughs> this is a decent fish. I can see a fish right there. He just came up and ate something. He did not eat my fly. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Again, I saw the fish moving around before I saw anything. Maybe I need a heavier nymph. It's getting tossed around a lot. Ugh. It's a nice waffly brown trout. Oh, oh, what was that? He jumped right next to my fly, jumped out of the water. I don't know if he was trying to eat my nymph or what. I setted the hook, there was nothing there. All right, I just saw a nice one come up and eat something. Let's see if he wants to eat what I have. Oh, he looked at the dry. Totally came up and, oh, there's another bigger fish up further. Oops, I didn't want to go up that far yet. Let's see if this guy will eat my nymph. I don't think he wants to. Oh, look at that, another one accidentally. I had just had two more fish swimming around with my fly in their mouth before I knew about it. I got to put on a bigger or a heavier fly. All right. Mortimer. Mortimer, I have blown a lot of opportunities with your bigger brothers and sisters today. Get out of here. Let's try to get a bigger one. Rapids ahead. I got a funky spot to pull over here. Ooh, is that rock? Oh, don't miss the eddy. Ooh, it's a little one. Oh, all right, that's a rock. All right, well, at least I didn't blow by it. All right, gonna get out and wade fish this spot. I've actually never wade fished here, so that'll be cool. There. Yay! Yay! It is a fish. I did switch to a heavier dropper. Man, we cannot crack 10 inches today. Oh, there he goes. See ya. Had some chances, but blown him. Huh. I have lost my dropper. I'm not going back to the boat. I'm going to finish this out with a hopper. Oh! Ah! 
I had the bite. I don't think it was a big one. I hear a grasshopper on this hillside over here. I'm in the right spot. Okay, I'm calling it. Would have been magical to get a nice big one on the hopper right at the end there. <laughs> but come on, I'm not that lucky. At least I got a bite, that was cool. But I have to boogie out of here. It's gonna be a long row back upstream, so I gotta get started. I don't wanna get home too late. But that was a fun day. You know, I always like to have a bit of a takeaway from every time I go fishing. It doesn't always have to be earth shattering or anything. I think today it was that thing with the heavier nymph, man. My little nymph was just getting swirled around in all these currents and the strikes weren't translating to the dry fly. So I uh, put a heavier one on and caught one right away and then lost the fly right away. Well, whatever, that's, that's today's takeaway for me other than having a wonderful time on a beautiful river on an amazing fall day. We're into fall. <laughs> You can tell by the colors, I'm sure. But that was a lot of fun. I, uh, I enjoy going fishing by myself sometimes. So that's it, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I will be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, pinch your barbs or not, and stay huge. Oh, also my boat floated away because I got out of it and didn't let out more anchor rope, but it happened to float right up to me. So that's good.